We really are. Well, geez, look at Sting and Vader. Who knew what was to come with them? Because Vader was relatively brand new here. That's right. Yeah. yeah. He, he was in and out for a bit, and then he, he starts kind of full-time here. Yeah, this was uh, bringing in Vader was an Oli idea. I remember was... him talking about bringing him in. It did happen on the herd on the herd watch though. I know everybody hates right. Jim Bird. I get that, but yeah. the Steiners coming to pro, um, prominence, uh -huh. Steamboat coming back, yeah. Another, that trilogy. They're gonna the try to kill cactus home. here. Oh yeah, cactus. <laughs> boy. Yeah, Jim Hurd had some good ideas too. I mean, Tony, you were on Family Feud. Uh, there was some mainstream sponsorships with Coors yeah. and with right. Brews and right. Yeah, uh, you're right. Uh, he did, but he alienated so many people. That's right. Yeah. So that's not, I mean, that's the shame is for all the, the interesting or, or, or positive things that he did in wrestling, people will just remember the negative because of his way he handled people. That's right. He didn't know how to handle people. Did not. Absolutely. That's very well said. So it turns out no matter how good you are at your job, if you're an asshole, that's what people will remember. That's right. That's right. Ian will never have that problem because Ian's one of the nicest people ever in wrestling. As a matter of fact, too I've nice. said to Ian, I said, yes, I've said to Ian, I said, you're almost too nice to be in the wrestling business. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate that. And I'm, yeah. you know, I try and I try and take that niceness on the school board. The only other active school board member that I'm aware of is, uh -huh. is Rick Steiner here. Yeah. So we have that in common, right? He's on Cherokee County school board in, uh, Oh, oh, bro! Uh -oh. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them out. What? Where, where did these guys come from? <laughs> and, and Tony, do you know who they who those are? Because I think I, I I recognize maybe Rip Rogers. Maybe no, that's okay. not Rip. Never mind. That's not okay. him. Well, Brian maybe Clark's get, one of them. Okay, maybe we get a shot of them. Also, the the door that you see way up high, that door, we we talked about this because the door was so heavy, and when they would trigger the door, it would slam. Boom hard and i remember thinking and telling some guys i said make sure that you're not in that doorway when it slams because it's going to break your neck or break up it was just so big and so heavy and you'll see when it comes down how fast it comes down and there was a concern that all the action and all the movement around it would trigger the door to yeah. come down on somebody <laughs> look at it oh, look at Abdul oh, on the cage what a shot oh god I think the switch has already flipped. It's already been <laughs> like people have banged around the cage enough that yeah. it just fell on its well, own already. Well, the, the, I, I'm talking about the door, the switch, which, yeah, was yeah, a gimmick, yeah. which was a gimmick switch. I think what they did, they snuck in a piece of uh, tape because they're supposed to throw the switch and the door come down. Right. Uh, they snuck in a piece of gaffer's tape for peewee to tape it up. If I recall, cause it kept falling down. What do you think of this cage design, Ian? Do you like this cage where it looks like you can't climb over the top because it comes in, but it's, it's a little looser than say big blue from the WWF. It's a little more flimsy, a little more pliable. It was always cool to see it in WCW because oh, now the, uh, the gimp is tied, uh, is handcuffed to the outside. <laughs> it's, always, yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it, it was cooler. You had slightly better sight lines. Uh, yes. I love the Thunderdome with uh flare sting muda terry funk that was great yep. same cage right just shit gimmicks up there i i think so yeah and then that one yep. lit on fire <laughs> and yep. muda blew it out with the mist so yeah this this was cool though because you didn't see cages often in wcw whoa and a cactus golly yeah. dude i mean yeah. the, the camera didn't even focus on that bump what what a bump that was yeah he's was nobody liking oh here's the referee and so, so uh, Foley, uh, has announced that he's at least considering one last match. Tony, did you see that? He's trying to get down to 275 pounds and maybe make one more match. What about that? God, his knees are gone. Aren't they? I, I, I mean, I, I think the dude's been through the ringer for sure. Yeah, I mean, I've, but, I've seen him try to get around. I don't, I don't know if he's had any replacements or not, but wow. Dropping a hundred, a hundred pounds was the original goal. I think he's. 366 last he posted and he's trying to get down to 275. Wow. And, uh, would like to do uh one last match around his 60th birthday, which I guess would be like next June. Right. 
that's kind of interesting to think about one last match for foley yeah god bless him i'd love to see the match there was oh, see, it's, 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 it's down. yeah why and are we showing it? it uh who knows i think we're showing it to to tell to tell the people backstage look there it is look at it go make sure it's back up uh, who knows and, and that was we were on that for five seconds like that yeah. was that was the longest yeah. five seconds of the, yeah. of the show so far yeah <laughs> I don't know what we said to try to explain it, but uh, maybe, maybe like, well, the power's not on to the switch yet. The switch has to be powered up, so they will they will power it up here soon. What do you think? What do you think is the hardest thing you've had to explain, Tony? I always try. I try to explain the ladders sometimes that are under the the ring and yeah and the tables, but I sometimes I just run out run out of explanations. <laughs> well, I think in the days uh, the days era. Uh, ladders and, and tables under the ring. I, I think fans expect them to be there. And in the in the grand scheme of what we're doing, yeah, they're there to yeah. be used. Okay, uh, but I think the hardest thing, obviously, I've ever had to explain is is the Yeti. Well, yeah, I mean, having a guy wrapped up in gauze, butt fucking Hulk Hogan is is 100%. beyond a hunt. It just you know, and he was a mummy. That was the other. He wasn't even a Yeti. A Yeti is frozen. <laughs> And he he came. Thank from you a, for that, Ian. He came from a big ice block, but <laughs> then he was a mummy. Yeah, that's know. right. <laughs> I don't know. That was an unforgettable night in many, <laughs> many ways. Well, Paul, our friend Paul White probably should have died. He fell backwards off the Cobo Hall. Yeah, I know. That was another thing that was hard to explain. <laughs> and I remember hitting the talk back and saying, "Hey, he's how do we explain this? He's not even wet." <laughs> if he fell into the river, the Detroit river, he's not even wet. Uh, and, uh, that was a hard thing to, to do, but that whole night was okay. Who we got here. There's a look at him. It looks like Brian Clark is up front to the right, to, uh, to his right. Yeah. It looks like, it looks like referee Jimmy jet, who, uh, was a referee, had the nice hair, uh, oh, was, yeah. was in there as well to me. I looked like he was in there. So. And but as you can see, they are so stoic. They are not moving. They are really prepared for to take the body. The body. <laughs> Listen to you. Well, that, they got a stretcher, right? We're going to the electrocute. Just fell we're, going to, again. we're going to electrocute a motherfucker. They flipped uh, okay. the switch uh, up, and then as Cactus started climbing, it fell, and you can yeah. see it on camera fall. Cactus yeah. just pushed it up. Yeah. Ooh, and the diamond stud just got hit in the diamond mine there. There you go. Cactus put it up for us. And it fell again. And it fell again. 